All right, buddy, uh, today is uh, May 8th, or whatever's left of it. It's kind of late in the day. I've been quite busy. Um, woke up this morning, did my usual study and everything like that. Uh, but other than that, went out today downtown, went and had some uh, two-for-one chicken. It was amazing chicken. It's uh, just, I don't know what they do to it, but it, it's amazing. Uh, the garlic and soy, the crispy, and then the barbecue chicken, which is probably one of my favorite ones. It's not all fried. It's just chicken. Or put up, good to go. I have no idea how these Korean people do it, but it's amazing. Uh, but yeah, so I definitely, it's not the best for you, but I like going there whenever I get the chance. I check the mail, I need to go today Sunday. Still no Kindle, fine, I'll, I'll wait for it to get here later. Um, let's see, other than that, I kind of walked around town, went to BX, looked at a few things, not much I was looking into. Maybe get a Blu-ray player eventually because the one on my laptop. I mean, it works for some movies, but some movies it doesn't work for at all. Also, uh, I looked at the game stuff, but I went to GameStop downtown. And I bought Mortal Kombat, the new one that just came out. It's usually it's like fifty bucks or whatever it costs now for a game, but uh, they had it used for thirty-five bucks. I was like, shit! So I went ahead and got that copy of that one. And I looked in there, just use, use like a downloadable content thing, and people take the peel off and they download the content with the code. Well, apparently, no one touched it either, so pretty much I got a brand new Mortal Kombat game for 35 bucks. Which is a bit of a pretty active guy in there, he's like, yeah, it's a pretty amazing deal, it's probably be gone in a day, and it sure was, I snagged it up. Thought about getting the Dragon Ball Z Rage and Blast 2, but I was like, no, I, I got just enough money for this in my pocket, I'm not, you know, getting anything else, so I'll be good to go. Uh, and I came back, did some laundry, and hung out with a bunch of friends down the hall, which was a good thing to do. Played some video games, uh, came back to do a little bit of studying, probably going to stay up all night long, and because I'm all used to sleeping late, so I'm not going to mess with it at all. You know, right now it's 11.50, and I could probably be to work at 6.30. I don't even know what time I'd be working yet, so I haven't checked the schedule yet, but I'll figure it out later. I'll see someone from... Another shift on, like, hey, what time the days come in? Dog coming around then, so that should be good. Um, yeah, excited to go back to work for one day. Take Tuesday off, be good to go. Uh, test on Wednesday, so I think tomorrow or tonight, and uh, most of tomorrow, I'm gonna do a lot of my actual CDCs. You know, the first test, I know, I'm pretty confident, I know, you know. A great, great deal about the 16, where it's not going to be a problem. But I'm just going to run through it real quick, just in case. You know, it's a little something here or there I don't miss. I remember both my uh, EOC test and the course test. I did really well on those. I got 90, my first one, 85, my second. So, but I know there's like a few questions here that I remember that had like no fucking clue on what it was. So hopefully now I'll figure out exactly. All right, this is what the answer to this is, and after that, I'll I'll, I'll know this enough to where I'm not going to worry about it. So I need to get, I need to get 70s on this test to uh, to make it as the last year's standard. So be good to go. I know the PDG, I got a, lots of highlighted and I got working with a lot of stuff. So I'm going to go through and start just answering questions, find something I haven't asked before. It's going to ask me a randomized question. I might not get it right, but I'll figure out what the answer is at. And once I do that, I'll just read it and I'll know, I'll know exactly what's going on. So I'll be prepared. Whatever they, they toss at me, so and then I'll go back and review the uh, 22 stuff, all the avionics and E and E parts that we gotta learn now, and just make sure I know that because it's, it's something I, I I don't work with every day, so I need to know that. So um, I guess I want to go ahead and show y'all some cool nerdy stuff that I have here in my room, just kind of randomly. I got a a wand here. I got this at the Wizard World Harry Potter. Pretty nifty. It's, I think it's like a, a plastic or a resin type, but it's pretty nifty. You got this here. You see all the, the detail that comes with it. You got a, a dumb little trademark thing. I might sand that down one day and repaint it. But it looks it's one of the more natural looking ones. The ones I saw in there, it's got a, the best grip for me, so I think I like that. This one. That's why I picked this one the best. Usually they have a thing based on um, what your I guess my birth month was, and they picked your wand on that, and mine was some weird skull looking thing, and I was just like, I don't like any of that kind of fatty stuff, like uh, skulls and dragons. 
and snakes and whatever, you know, them big, you know, Slytherin fans by the shirt. But, yeah, see, all of Ender's wand shop right here, the case that comes in. I think the, how much does that cost? It wasn't too much, actually. It was, I think, 30 bucks, maybe a little bit less. These they don't spend that much money on stuff, but, yeah. It's definitely a nice thing to really have. Especially kind of nerding out for the next Harry Potter that's going to be coming out pretty soon. So, I think mid June. So, just before I go TDY to Alaska. Yeah. But, so, I'm expecting this to be a quick night going to work, do my thing, get off work, and just nothing but the books. Probably won't even leave to go eat. <laughs> that's how usually ends up being. And I have to. Get rid of my my beard now that I've been growing. Yeah, I don't, I don't I don't like it anyways. And then I'll get a haircut on probably after work tomorrow, and that way it doesn't touch the ears or anything. Or get a two-stage thing. And how much people notice it? Probably won't notice it very much at all. But it's definitely been a, a great thing to not have to work for you know, even the four days I didn't. Just be here in the environment and just enjoy it for the time being. Kind of just, you know, usually people take a mid tour here and it's 30 days off, they go back home, they spend all this money, they do this, do that. And for me, like, something like that, it just it feels like a waste. Like, I go home and, okay, I do this, see my friends, see my family, then I come back and it's like, yep, I just wasted my time. So, kind of, my, my leave time. I always know I can always be touring and you know seeing this and seeing that. I don't know, either or, it's, it's what you make of it. And this this four days here was I made it pretty well. I enjoyed it. I slept in. I relaxed. I did feel like I didn't waste any time. So and I got some good studying and hopefully it pays off and I make that next drive. So uh, this is one of the longer ones. Seven minutes and. 25 seconds, so I'm gonna cut it short and till tomorrow, which is four minutes, but yeah, till tomorrow. I'll see y'all later.